Stem cell treatment in MS, how does it work? What are stem cells? Stem cells are part of the body's normal repair system. Their main function is to replace damaged or dying cells in the body. This type of cell is special as it has the ability to grow into other cell types. So a stem cell could become a nerve cell, a red blood cell or a muscle cell. Allowing it to carry out specific functions depending on what the body needs at a particular time. There are a few different types of stem cell, but research in MS has mainly focused on the hematopoietic type. This type of stem cell is found in your bone marrow. Hematopoietic stem cells can develop into different types of cells found in the blood, including some cells which are part of the immune system. How could stem cells treat MS? In order to explore how stem cells could potentially treat MS, we first need to understand what happens in the body when you have MS. It is thought that there are two broad disease processes at work, inflammation and neurodegeneration. Inflammation occurs as a result of your body's immune system mistakenly attacking the protective covering around your nerves in your brain and spinal cord. This damage can cause relapses, periods where you experience new symptoms or worsening of existing ones. Neurodegeneration is where the nerve cells themselves are destroyed due to the lack of a protective covering. This damage can cause increasing disability known as progression. Stem cell therapy could potentially help by slowing MS disease activity, repairing existing damage or replacing faulty parts of the immune system or central nervous system. What scientists hope to achieve in treatment using hematopoietic stem cells is to replace or reboot, if you like, the body's immune system so it no longer causes inflammation in the brain and spinal cord. This may sound like it could be as easy as turning your computer on and off, but it is a lengthy process where your existing immune system is completely or partially destroyed and then rebuilt with stem cells. What does stem cell therapy involve? The most studied type of stem cell treatment for MS is autologous hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, or AHSCT. There are six main stages to the procedure. In the first stage, the stem cells usually found in your bone marrow are moved into your bloodstream using a combination of chemotherapy drugs and injections of synthetic growth factor. Once enough stem cells have made it into your bloodstream, usually around 10 days later, a machine is used to collect some of your blood and separate out any stem cells it comes across. Stage 3 involves freezing the collected stem cells ready for when they're returned to your body later. Before your stem cells can be returned to your body, the cells of your immune system that are involved in MS disease activity need to be destroyed. Therefore, stage 4 of the process is another round of chemotherapy to fully or partially kill the cells in your bone marrow that make up your immune system. This usually takes several days to complete. In the fifth stage, your stem cells are returned to your body by injecting them into your blood through a drip. The stem cells then collect in your bone marrow and start making new blood and rebuilding your immune system within 10 to 30 days. The final stage is recovery. As your immune system has been weakened or destroyed and then rebuilt, AHSCT is considered an aggressive procedure and recovery can take three to six months, although for some people it can take longer. During this time you may feel quite unwell and will be vulnerable to infections, which can be dangerous while your immune system is weak. To find out more about stem cell therapy, visit the A to Z page on our website. If you have any questions about MS, ask our inquiry service by calling 0800 032 3839 or emailing infoteam at mstrust.org.uk.